Hello everyone, this is our next video of FortiGate NSC4 series. And today video we are going to understand the FortiGate inspection mode, low based and proxy based. So let's begin with the discussion. So first one with the low based. And in the flow based traffic flowing through the policy will not be buffered by the FortiGate. This is the first thing. Flow based inspection identifies the block security threats in real time versus they identified it means that if FortiGate firewall identify a threat, it will be a real time. They and they also they will not buffer the packets. All applicable flow based security modules are applied simultaneously in a single pass using direct filter approach. So it means that all security profiles like a web filter and antivirus, it will be applied in a single pass. We know that process as a direct filter approach DFA pattern matching to identify the possible attacks or threats. Pattern matching is offloaded and accelerated by CP8 and CP9 processor. So this will be two dedicated processor. It is used by a FortiGate to accelerate the patterns of identifying in a uh, known uh, patterns in a packets. So this CP8 and CP9 processors will be used. And last point of the flow based is the flow based inspection is selected by default on new firewall. So it is the by default version or uh, by default inspection mode on the FortiGate firewall. So let's understand the what is inspection. So basically let's say this will be your a uh, FortiGate firewall. So I would say the FortiGate firewall and here we have uh, some kind of uh, internet based any URLs or any FTP servers www and here we have a uh, one user. So who is trying to access this web server. So in the flow based what will going to be happen the firewall will not buffer the packet once the once the connections is, is it is initiated by this source machine for this the, the destination then FortiGate will match all the security checks on the one way direction and on only in last packet will be uh, last pa last packet will be the inspected by the FortiGate for the security threats and also FortiGate will not not kind of buffer the packets. So it means that all the packet all the packets will be going to the destination or coming from the destination it will be processed simultaneously it means that all security profiles will process simultaneously and that process or that approach we known as the DFA direct forwarding approach. It is mentioned here set direct filter approach so flow based inspection identify a flow identify the blocks in a real time we discussed that it is not store the packets or it will not buffer the buffers so first th this is the flow based what will be the policy uh, proxy based or proxy most in a firewall policy inspection mode is set to proxy traffic following through the policy will be buffered by a FortiGate. So in the first section flow based there is a no buffered but in the proxy mode it is the preferred. Second thing this means that packet for a file email message or web page will held by a FortiGate until the entire payload is, payload is inspected by the virus pomus malicious or webling. So it, it means that if a packet reaches the FortiGate, first FortiGate will store or cache or buffer the packet and once that all checks will be performed by a FortiGate, then only that packet will send to the receiver. And third point will be the after 40 OS finish the inspection, the payload either released to the destination if traffic is clean or dropped or replaced with the replacement message. If any malicious content is found, then it will be block message will come and last point to optimize the inspection the policy can be configured block or ignore files or message that is extain a certain size 
to prevent the receiving to prevent the receiving end user for timing out so we understand that uh, tcp is having some time out sessions so if let's say if any 10 mb packet is coming or 10 mb then that definitely that will be stored on the by stored by the 40 gate in the case of proxy mode then if 40 gate is taking too much of time to process that packet then it can be a chances to TCP session timeout will happen so in that case that connection will drop to prevent that what is the solution to prevent receiving end user for session timeout you can apply a client comfortable allow small port portion of the payload be sent to the undergo inspection so we can we can manage this buffer size or it should be the 10 mb 5 mb so we can manage it otherwise if the buffer size will lower with uh, if buffer size will large we get a session timeout message because of the tcp is having also their session timeout what we what else we have let's understand uh, this proxy mode also so in this proxy mode if the packet started from the client side for the destination this packet will be stored by a 40 gate 40 gate will process if that content is clean it will released in the case of return also it will process it will store it will check for the security inspection and it will release to the des destination or client so flow based and proxy based we have a one major difference that in the flow based 40 gate will not cache or buffer the packets but in the proxy based 40 gate is buffered the packet in the flow based packet is checking real time and it is the default mode of the 40 gate and here the all packet inspection is performed by one by one and in the proxy based that uh, this is the not a default mode of the 40 gate and here there is a no step there is a no kind of state by state process here first packet will be stored and after the all security inspection performed based on that decision packet will forward it to the destination so this was the two difference on the 40 gate flow bit versus proxy mode there are some other values are also so there are some feature or security profiles capabilities that are not available to flow based scans these are only available with the proxy mode scannings like video filter inline cache b web cdr web quota and sandboxing scanning so these are only available with the proxy mode inspection so let's quickly log into my 40 gate i will show you that where is this two options are available on the 40 gate so i have one policy i will quickly show that where is option to select so we can see this is the inspection mode flow beds versus proxy based so we can select on the policy level so we also one thing i also show you in this case if i go on the flow based you can see there is a no video filter but if i go with the proxy based we can see there is a video filter is available so that was the difference that video filter in line cache is only available with the proxy modes um, proxy mode inspection so we can select the flow based proxy based based on the policy level so which policy requires which kind of inspection mode so and based on the inspection mode it will be selected if i select the flow based it will be processed so this was the video related to that 40 gate inspection mode for pro proxy based and flow based i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoy please hit the like button and subscribe the firewall experts for this kind of video Thanks for watching Firewall Experts.